Russians feel pressure of counter-attacks by Ukrainian army, front line is not what Putin thinks. The Russian forces are beginning to feel the pressure of the Ukrainian armed forces' counter-attacks on the battlefield. The arrival of Western Allied aid has allowed the defense forces to stabilize critical areas of the front. According to the Institute for the Study of War, since mid-May, Ukrainian defenders have carried out tactically important and successful operations in the north of the Kharkiv region and in the direction of Kremina. Although the Ukrainian armed forces have not yet launched the large-scale counter-attacks needed to seize the initiative, tactical operations increase the Russian army's losses in order to continue a slow and exhausting offensive. In particular, counter-attacks in the Kharkiv region have forced the Russians to redeploy individual units farther from the hypothetical location of their centralized command. The ISW observed that Russia moved units of the 810th Marine Brigade and a battalion tactical group of the 9th Motorized Rifle Brigade to the north of the Kharkiv region in mid-June, while other units of the 810th Infantry and 9th Motorized Rifle Brigades remained near Krynki and Toretsk, the Institute's analysts noted. According to their data, the aggressor country is dividing and deploying airborne units across the entire battlefield. Soldiers from the 137th Regiment of the 106th Airborne Division are fighting in the Kherson region, while other units of the regiment are located near Seversk. According to ISW experts, the division and deployment of units of the same large formation demonstrates that the occupiers are beginning to feel the pressure of counter-attacks by the defense forces. In addition, this confirms that the front line is not as static as Russian leader Vladimir Putin believes. Analysts also note that the Ukrainian armed forces' ability to carry out powerful and organized counter-attacks still depends on the stability of military assistance from partners. At the same time, European experts plan to teach 40,000 Ukrainian military and law enforcement officers the intricacies of working in territories liberated from the enemy. Over the past night, Russian air defenses destroyed and intercepted five Ukrainian drones over four regions, the Russian Defense Ministry said in a statement. The ministry said a number of attempts by the Kiev regime to carry out terrorist attacks using aircraft-type unmanned aerial vehicles on targets in Russia were stopped. Air defense systems on duty destroyed and intercepted five UAVs, two of which were over the territory of the Bryansk region and one over the Tombov. Tula and Moscow regions each, it said. Moscow Mayor Sergei Sabayanin said that on the night of July 11, air defense forces shot down a drone near the city of Stupino in the Moscow region. The air defense forces of the Ministry of Defense in the Stupino urban district repelled an attack by a drone flying towards Moscow, he wrote. According to preliminary data, there was no damage or casualties at the site where the debris fell. According to the mayor of Moscow, emergency services are on the scene. The Astra Telegram channel publishes a video of local residents, which allegedly shows traces of air defense work. Since the start of Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine, Russian regions have been subject to regular shelling and drone attacks. There is destruction and casualties. The Russian Ministry of Defense reports on the suppression of Ukrainian attacks and reports downed missiles and drones over Russian territory. In most cases, Kiev does not comment on these messages. There are reports of drone strikes in Chechnya. However, the targets of the strike have not yet been specified. Recall, the military units under Ramzan Kadyrov, the Kremlin-appointed leader of the Chechen Republic since 2007, are actively supporting Russia's special military operation in Ukraine. However, a significant number of Kremlin-opposed Chechen fighters have taken up arms on Ukraine's side. These fighters play an important role within the Ukrainian command structure. 